This is the second recording of the Unit 6, uh, Chapter 1, uh, the uh, Water P Treatment. Okay, so on this uh, video, I'm going to talk about uh, the P Treatment of the, the makeup water before it goes into the boiler. On Chapter 2, uh, uh, it will be the, the chemical treatment when the water is already into the boiler. Okay. Now, so the selection or the P treatment method, eh, it depends on what type of water you come into your, your plant. Eh? Okay. Now, in lots of situations, eh, um, the, the P treatment eh, will cost lots of money to do, the, to do just like it calls the operating. Eh? Okay. Now, let's say, you know, if you have the, if your plan is inside the city, uh, the city already done most treatment for you already. All you have to do uh, is just take away the hardness, uh, adjust the pH, you, you're done. Uh, okay. Now, but if your plan is outside of the, outside the country, uh, so you need to take a water from the river, from the lake. Uh, so in this case, uh, you you have to use a, a, car a clarifier and and filter eh, to take away some dirt eh, uh, from the river or or the lake. Eh. Now, even if you take the water from the well, eh, deep 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 well on the ground, eh, lots of them are still lots of mud in there. So you have to use a clarifier and filter to fill out the suspend material, eh. and then you use a water softener. Eh, uh, and reverse osmosis uh, or the aerator to do the wears. Uh. Okay, now these are uh, this is um, the the picture uh, of the typical water treatment and uh, a plan. Uh. Now the left side of the blue line uh, is if you take the water away from the open source uh, from the, the lake of the river. Uh. So in this case, uh, you have to have a clarifier and then the a filter. After this, uh, and then it will be the same treatment as the, the city water, uh, or if your plan is situated you know, on the, in, the, in the city. Uh, okay. Now, after this, uh, you will go into uh, the softener, uh, sodium sealant softener, uh, now, after this, after the uh, treatment, uh, you, you put it into a storage tank. Uh, the storage tank, uh, you might uh, want to add some chemical to adjust the pH too. Uh, so, and the, the water, when it's in the uh, storage tank, uh, so this one is called uh, a make-up water. Okay, there's a make-up water. Uh. Now, in instead of the sodium silate softener, uh, you can put a reverse osmosis unit in there uh, to replace this. Uh. Okay, now after the story tank, uh, you 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 can you either use a pump uh, to pump it to the deaerator, uh, or just by the city water pressure. Uh, lots of time, you know, the city water pressure good enough uh, to put into the uh, deaerator. So the deaerator, uh, the two function uh, in the deaerator. The first one, uh, it's just a name indicator. Uh, the air rater. Take the air away. Uh, okay. Now another one, uh, it just treat this as a storage tank. Uh. So the, the air rater, when when it's full, uh, uh, it's only 50% full. The top half of the, the, the bottom tank uh, and the dome uh, is reserved for the steam uh, to take the air away. Uh. Okay, now. So after you 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 take the air away, yeah, and um, and some 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 you, know, you add some chemical in the the aerator too, huh? so and then uh, they use a pump uh, to pump it through the economizer uh, and go into the the steam drum of the boiler if this is water to a boiler. Huh? No. and then uh, uh, you produce some steam, and oh, these picture they they forgot to 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 put the 
the user, uh, the steam user. Uh, so the steam user, it could be a chemical processor, uh, it could be a steam turbine. So the exhaust of steam turbine uh, will go into the heat exchanger. The heat exchanger will condense uh, the steam, uh, the low pressure steam, it become condensate. Uh, so the condensate will go into the storage tank uh, and use another pump to pump it back to the deaerator. So this will complete the cycle. Uh. Now, if you don't lose any steam uh, and won't drain the water out, uh, the system in here from the deaerator on uh, is a cold system. But the problem is you always lose some steam. Uh, you always uh, bow down the, the boiler. That means you drain some water out, uh, drain some dirt out. Uh, so you, you need to mix some water put back in. Uh, so that is why you need the the makeup water from the from the from the water softener, the reverse osmosis unit. Eh? Okay, now so on the story turn in in the after the sodium sulfide, there's a makeup water. But once you inside, once you go inside the deaerator, eh? now from the bottom of the tank of the aerator, we call this feed water. Eh? Stand for feed boiler, feed water. Okay, now the chemical inlet that eh, in our lab we just put it in all the all the in the, in the the storage tank. Eh, put all the chemical in the storage tank. Eh. But outside on in in the steam pan, eh, you put chemical in the storage tank into the deaerator. Also put some amine eh, into the steam line. Okay, so the inject chemical uh, a few ways a whole lot more than, than this. Eh, okay. Now let's take a look the those equipment you if your plant is outside uh, on the countryside something like that take it from the wheel fire. So the first one is a car a carifier. It's just a really big settling tank, uh, a, a tank. So uh, there's a picture in here. Settling tank, uh, ten meter, maybe fifteen meter. So in here you just put the water in here. And let it settle, uh, let it settle, and the dirt uh, will go to the bottom, uh, and the bottom there, the sludge, you drain it out. Uh, those whatever folding on the top, uh, you have a rack, this is the, the rack, uh, just work it out and suck it out too. Uh, okay, so in this case, in here, now. You need some time to, for it to settle out. Uh. Most, lots of time, uh, it's one, two, one to two hours, you let it settle down. Uh. Now, but the problem is, uh, uh, some of them, uh, they do not uh, settle in one or two hours. Uh. So what you do, you put some coagulant. Uh, coagulant coagulant uh, is a kind of chemical, uh, alum is one of them, uh, or synthetic uh, polymer. Uh. So you put it there, so you neutralize the charge uh, or, or the practical inside there uh, so that they group together uh, they group together and then sink down uh, and keep the far uh, the process a little bit faster uh. coagulant uh, is the chemical you put in make them all take out the charge uh, and when they group together and sink in uh, okay so that's it now and then the, the next after the carrier uh, is the filter now the filter there uh, uh, in the in here is so you two different tire. Uh. One is a pressure filter on the top, uh. another one is uh, the gravity uh, uh, filter on the on the bottom there. So it depends what you have in there. The you decide what kind of uh, filter you use. Uh. Uh, so most of this one, uh, they remove the sand, iron, uh, and organic material, just like the leaves or grass or something like that. Uh. Okay, now some some small uh, uh, outfit, uh, they even have the, a cartridge a filter, a really, really small filter. Eh? Okay. Now let's take a look at the, the pressure filter. So this type of pressure filter, eh, it could be 2 meter, uh, uh, one, 2 meter, uh, 2 meter uh, diameter. Eh? Now you see in here, there's uh, one layer of uh, filter medium. Eh? And the common one uh, is just uh, some sand, uh, a layer, a big layer of sand. Uh, and then uh, and they will have some uh, uh, bigger material, uh, some chemical material 
man-made material, or just a small or piece of plastic or something like that. Uh, and some even put uh, uh, some uh, charcoal. Uh, the charcoal will take away the, uh, the smell too. Uh, and then uh, at the bottom there, they have a piece of screen, uh, either plastic or uh, metal screen in there, so that all those material will not drop down. Uh, and then finally, uh, they have the in suction inlet pipe, uh, just uh, the good water outlet pipe. In there, they have a filter there, the strainer. And some of them, they have, just like the picture, the lots and lots of strainer. And some of them, they have a few pieces of pipe joined to the outlet uh, and drill lots of hole on the, the pipe uh, so that the water can, good water can come in and go out. Uh, and go out there. Okay. So the water come in from the bottom, go through the filter, collect at the bottom, and then go come out there and to surface. Eh? Now, so after you run it for a while, eh, this uh, the filter layer, or, or just uh, all the same, uh, there's lots of dirt in there, lots and lots of dirt in there. So you want to get rid of this, eh? how do you get it? You want to fuck free it out, eh? put some water from the bottom, go up, and push all those uh, lighter material, go down the drain. Eh? So this process eh, is called the back, Walls, uh, back walls, reverse the flow, uh, get rid of all the, the dirt, uh, the organic material down the drain. So that is a pencil filter. Uh. Now the graffiti filter, the idea is almost the same. Uh. You see the instruction, almost the same. You know, a filter material, a bigger material, the man made material, uh, and then you use a graffiti uh, and collect at the bottom uh, and come out. It's the same, but the thing is that it's open to the, the atmosphere. So the whole thing eh, is set by gravity. Eh? So the gravity will pull the water uh, uh, down. Eh? Okay. Now, the, if the plane is really small, eh, and most of the time they can use the, the, the cartridge filter, eh? but this is really small scale, eh? as, as small as probably you know, 10 centimeter diameter. Eh? Okay, now the the filter material inside, eh, you can either use one we just say uh, washable, eh, washable filter, eh, and most of the small one they just use a uh, throw away, eh, the replaceable. Eh. After so many so many gallons or so many liter, you just take it out the full full to put a new filter in. Eh. Okay, uh, lots of lots of plan use this uh, as a, a backup uh, when you, the big filter is a repair. Okay, now in this case in here, lots of time huh, you will have two back pressure filter there. One of them huh, it could be uh, operating, huh? the other one it could be back washing, huh? something like that. Huh? Okay. Um, the, there's a, a couple of video in the YouTube that is so how this one works. Huh? Okay. Now, and then the next one uh, is a really, really common one, uh, is a water softener. Now, the, the after, after you, 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 the, the, after the clarifier, uh, and then you have the filter, after the filter, and then you use some device uh, to soften the water, okay? Now, it depends how, how good quality you, you want your water, eh? it depends which way you, you use. Eh? The lime soda water softener, it cannot soften the water to, to zero ppm hardness. Eh? So, and then the sodium silicate softener, this one will take the hardness to zero. Eh? Okay? Now, the demineralizer, eh? this one you go through one more step, eh? they take out the, the cation, eh? They also take out the anionite. So after you the water go through the demineralizer, you pretty much a uh, pure water. Eh? Okay. Now another one, uh, really, really common one nowadays, uh, is a reverse osmosis. It's a piece of membrane. Uh, uh, you push it uh, on the other way uh, to get the pure water out. Uh, okay. Four different types. Uh. Now let's take a look at the, co uh, the cold lime softener. Now, for this one, uh, the operating temperature is pretty much a room temperature, uh, but the hardness it come out uh, is only 
one fifty ppm, uh, fifty to eighty ppm, uh, but most of them uh, take it down to one fifty ppm. Uh, fifty parts per million is not good enough for regular boiler in our just say in the city. Uh, those one uh, you want the, the hardness uh, down to zero, zero parts per million. Uh. Now, but if you are you are in the oil field, uh, I will not up up no. Uh, you use OTSG, eh? the OTSG can use some hot water to run eh? because they don't you produce 100% steam. Eh? So in this case, eh, the coal lime softener can be used. Eh? Now, what, what they use, eh? they use some chemical, eh? they take away the hardness of the water. The chemical they use, it is a lime, uh, CaOH2, eh? and the sodium carbonate, and uh, it uh, uh, CO3. Eh? So Put the chemical in there and then let them mix up with the water eh? and then precipitate the precipitate the hardness down eh? and and then eh, the you take the uh, the good water from the top eh? so that was in here you see now on this tank there's a funnel there they put the chemical and the inlet water into the funnel there and inside there there's an agitator so that they agitate the water, mix it up with the chemical, eh, and the reaction will go. After this, eh, all the, the sludge, eh, all the precipitate will go down, eh, and then you boil it down to the drain. Eh, and the good water will collect on the top. Eh, so this is pretty much the, 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 the coal, coal lime softener work. Eh, okay? Now, for this one is really slow. Eh, now, if you want a little bit be better uh, hardness, uh, resulting hardness, 10 to the, uh, 30 ppm, uh, or much faster, uh, okay, uh, uh, almost instantly, uh, the reaction more instant, uh, so you have to put some steam in there, make it hot, uh, okay. Now, the cold lime so uh, soda uh, operate room temperature, but the hot lime, they operate, uh, even higher than 100 degrees C. Eh? Okay. Now let's take a look how it go. Uh, the idea almost the same as a coal lime softener. You put the water in there, and you inject chemical, and and you inject some low pressure steam. Eh? You put it all mix up and heat up the water, heat up the water eh? uh, in in here. Eh? Okay. Now and then reaction really fast. Eh? Those precipitate will go down to the bottom. Uh, a funnel. Eh? Uh, Harper, and then you can just bow, bow down uh, so for so long, uh, you operate so, so long, just uh, bow it down. Uh, okay, now the good water in this case, uh, you go up here, use the pump to, to draw the water out, uh, okay, draw it out, and then you go to another filter, something like that. Uh. Now, so I want you to draw your attention uh, to the sludge recirculation pump. Uh. You see, they this pump takes some. Uh, some of the studs yeah, depend how 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 constant it is. I uh, take from there, and then we circulate it back to the top of the tank. Uh. Now there is a reason for this, uh, because this one is called a sitting. Uh. They they use this uh, uh, on the making rain too. Uh, sitting. Uh. So if you we circulate some of the studs to the top, uh, all the other precipitate. Uh, will attract to the the original starch, uh, become bigger and drop it down. Uh. So it work a whole lot better uh, uh, if you have some sitting uh, or from the sludge. Uh. Now, lots of uh, uh, different types there. Uh, everything work better with the sitting. Uh. Even, you know, the when you do the air conditioning unit, uh, the filter in the air conditioning unit, uh, when it's clean, uh, they don't attach so much dirt. Uh. But after 25% dirt here, so there is some dirt in the area, yeah? the dirt will attract more dirt, uh, so work a whole lot better. Uh. So same idea in here, you you recirculate some of the sludge, uh, and the sludge itself uh, will attract more sludge, uh, and then drop down the bottom. Okay, so that is one of the uh, piece of equipment, different from the coal and the hot. Uh. Okay. Now the there is a, a YouTube video uh, it show how this type of uh, uh, softener works. Uh, okay. uh, now let's go to the next slide. It's, uh, 
the sodium see like all the solvent now eh? okay um, now I I want to point out this eh? one of the equation on your lecture notes eh? uh, is wrong eh? so I correct this one and post in here maybe I should write down something too eh? okay now so for the sodium seal I saw so the whole idea is you want to take away the CA and MG calcium and magnesium they are the cause of the hardness if you replace it with the sodium and then after the, the sodium uh, go into the boiler, it will not precipitate out. Uh. So that's one good thing about the sodium. Uh, it doesn't matter how high the temperature, it will not precipitate out. Uh. Okay. So let me know you can you put the resulting uh, sodium uh, stuff in there into into the boiler. Then no harm. Uh. Okay. Now the whole thing, the whole idea uh, is the ion exchange. Uh. So. The name eh, is sodium silicate, eh? so Na2E set, eh? that is sodium silicate. Because uh, the, the equation for the, the silicate eh, is too long, eh? we just replace with, with, with E set. Eh? So sodium silicate, Na2E set, eh? so that is the chemical eh, that used to grab the calcium eh, for this. Eh? Now, physically, eh, it looks like this. Eh? You see those uh, small balls in here. These are uh, are uh, the sodium silicate uh, resin eh? okay now in here so the chemical reaction eh, it's just uh, uh, the calcium eh, will exchange the sodium into the the silicate eh? and then the sodium eh, will combine with the bicarbonate in here eh? become N NaHCO3 eh? so temp this one is the temporary hardness eh? okay and then uh, for the permanent hardness, uh, MH, MgSO4 uh, or MgCO2 uh, uh, or CaSO4, uh, so those are permanent hardness. Uh. So the permanent hardness is just, uh, um, it only precipitate out uh, when it goes into the boiler. So now if we take the Ca or Mg out uh, with the sodium C layer, uh, sodium exchange, uh, uh, we get from like this. Uh. So this one, uh, it it's it's I think it should be something like this, all huh, right? It's something it should be uh, something like this. Huh? Go 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 into that. Huh? Now on your lecture notes, huh, the bottom equation huh, is wrong. Huh? So I collect it in here. They they put too many sodium on the right hand side. Huh? Okay. So all these huh, is the sodium uh, just just like a, a cation exchange. Huh? Okay. Now so. After a while, uh, you operate for so many liter water, uh, all those uh, resin, uh, it's all grabbed the uh, calcium already. Uh, they cannot do any more. Uh. So in this case, uh, uh, you have to regenerate that. Uh. The regeneration, uh, it is put the sodium uh, back into the sea. So the cheapest sodium we can find uh, is the salt, NaCl. Uh, so we use the salt to keep get back the the sodium okay now so that is over in here okay now now uh, the one on the right hand side eh, it not quite right yeah because though they don't fill the whole tank up with the sodium sealer yeah it'd be nice if you filled up with this but in reality they don't fill up the whole tank with sealer yeah now the, the one on the right left hand side eh, that is the industrial uh, sodium silicate softener. Eh? In there, I draw two red line there. That is a resin level. Eh? So that means this free spore eh, is only in uh, that level. Just a, a big bed. Eh? Not really no, deep, not the whole thing. Eh? Underneath there, it could be some uh, graph or something like that. And then you have the screen at the bottom. Eh? So when it's on operation, eh, the water will come out from the top, eh? go through the bed, of a resin, uh, all the the uh, the the, uh, uh, the iron and I exchange, uh, the cation in exchange, uh, and then come out at the bottom uh, as the good water. Uh, so that is when it's in, in surface. Uh, water coming from the top come out from the the bottom. Okay. Now, so 
when all the resin, uh, uh, they use up, uh, they have to put the sodium back in. Now, but when you do the regeneration, uh, there's a few steps you can you have to do uh, before you can do the good regeneration. Uh. The first one is a back walls. Uh, back walls, and the one uh, you and you put after the back walls, you clean the bed. Uh, you put the brine in there. Brine is just a salt dissolved in water, put it back in, and then wings, slow wings, uh, get rid of the dirt uh, and fast wings, uh, and compact the bed. Uh. Now the back walls, okay, is reverse uh, to loosen the the ceiling bed, uh, the bed ceiling. For now, if every all those uh, uh, ceiling yeah uh, resin uh, compact together, your saw go the NACL go in uh, they, they they don't have a chance to to reach every one of them uh, so that means no you have to make it fluffy yeah uh, make all the bed really fluffy so that the uh, the NA the NACL when they go in uh, they can we have with all these one uh. now the another one uh, another purpose of the back walls uh, is you want to make the dirt make the all the dirt organic material uh, which is light, lighter uh, make it go through and then it go down the drain okay now so back walls is you you put the water from the from the bottom put it up fluffy the bed uh, and it go down the drain so if you put too much pressure in here, that means the full weight yeah, is too high. Yeah? So instead of fluffy up the bed, uh, you push uh, the resin, uh, go down the drain with it. Uh. So this step uh, will, if you don't adjust it right, yeah, adjust too fast, uh, too strong a pressure, uh, it will get rid of all the fish spores, uh, the, the, those are uh, sodium sealer, yeah? okay. Now, th this step will lose most of the, 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 the resin. Huh? Now, this usually, you know, take one uh, 15 minutes, huh? you do it, uh, 15 minutes, okay? Now, and then uh, after this, uh, you will do the bright jaw. Huh? Back walls, uh, the water is in there from the bottom, it go up. Huh? The bright jaw, uh, the bright jaw, they have their own water source, yeah? And lots of time they, they use some kind of sort of uh, in, uh, e Eject, uh, create a vacuum, uh, and then suck the the brine into the the water softener. Uh, okay, now so you want to put put all all the the sodium back in, uh, uh, So the sodium uh, is NaCl. Okay, now NaCl uh, uh, we add with the CaE set. Uh, the CaE set is the product of the water softening. Uh, so you want to exchange uh, the CA and MG, uh, it become NG2E set, uh, which is the original resin. Uh, and then you produce CACL2, those one is the ways that uh, you have to get rid of it. Uh. Now, in order for the reaction to compete, uh, you need a certain concentration before the reaction can control. Uh. And then you need to keep it time uh, for the completion of the reaction. So. It, the full way go into there, uh, you need to be adjusted really, really good uh, so, uh, so, so that the reaction will go full. Now, it takes well, around 45 minutes uh, to one hour, even hour and 15 minutes uh, for the reaction to go full. Uh. Now, after this uh, go full, uh, you have to get rid of the dirt. Uh, so, next one uh, is a slow rinse. Uh. Now, on the the last process, uh, we, we said we... we we get uh, some uh, product, CaCl2, uh, MgCl2, uh, or some extra brine at uh, the saw. On the slow wings, uh, the full direction of the full uh, is exact, uh, opposite of the back walls. Uh, it's the same as the in surface. Uh, the water go from the top and then it go down. And when it's in surface, uh, when it go to the bottom, it go to go to the story tank, uh, but on slow wings, uh, instead of go to the story tank, it just directly go down to the drain. Uh, okay? So this might it take only one 10, 15 minutes or 10 to 20 minutes, uh, slow wings get with this. Uh. And then uh, the last one uh, is a uh, fast wings. Uh. You cannot uh, you cannot mix up with the fast wings first and slow wings uh, because because uh, at the end, uh, you want the fast wings uh, to come pack the bed, the, the, the recent bed. Uh. Now, the two purposes in here. The first one uh, is to get rid of any salt uh, 
if you have some salt uh, left over, you want to get rid of it. Uh, you don't want too much mineral uh, go into the, the boiler. The NaCl, uh, it is uh, dissolved solid. Uh, we increase your TDS. Uh, you don't want to get it. So you want to get rid of it first. Uh. Another one uh, uh, is compact the uh, raisin bed uh, so that it's really, really packed up. Uh, you you cannot have a channel. Uh, just make a hole in the bed. Uh. So the channeling uh, is it form an empty space from the top to the bottom. Uh, so if you have channel, uh, that means the water, the hot water from the top, uh, it just go through the channel without touching too many uh, uh, resin. Uh, and then at the end, it's hot water. Uh. So if you have channeling, you will have hot water at the bottom. Uh. So now, the way to get rid of channeling is just use the fast wings. Uh, far, really, really lots of water go in there and pack up your raisin bed. Uh, after you pack up raisin bed and no channeling, uh, okay? Now, so after you do the regeneration, uh, this one, uh, the fast wings, uh, it could take five minutes, uh, ten minutes, it depends on your process. Uh. So what you do, uh, is, now remember, the slow wings and fast wings uh, go down the drain. Uh. So what you do, uh, you use a sample bottle, uh, take a sample on the drain uh, and test, test the water. If you test water, uh, after the titration, uh, it indicate it's blue. It says when you go in there, you put the test chemical, the reaction in there, it turns blue. Eh? No need to put any tritration reaction in there. So that is a low hardness, eh? and then you are done. Eh? So that is the end point eh? of your uh, regenerative process. Now, the demineralizer eh, is two different types of uh, softener they connect in series uh. so in this case uh, it it take out uh, uh, it take out your the the anana, uh, and also take up the cation both of them uh, the positive and negative uh, they all take it out so after this uh, uh, you will have pure water there okay now, there are two units. One is a hydrogen silica unit, uh, and then the sodium sodium silica unit uh, connect in series. Okay. Now, the the sodium silica unit we talked about in just the last slide. So for the hydrogen unit, uh, instead of uh, the sodium silica, uh, you have the hydrogen silica. It's the same thing, right? Instead of Na2, uh, you have H2. So in this case in here, uh, it will have, uh, after the uh, exchange, uh, the byproduct uh, is uh, H2SO4, which is uh, sulfuric, uh, sulfuric, okay? Now, one good thing is, uh, the water come out of the water softener is a little bit alkali. Uh. The water come out of the, the hydrogen sea uh, is a little bit acidic. Uh. When they go in series, uh, you neutralize it pretty good, uh, okay? Now, so those uh, H2E set uh, is a hydrogen sealer, uh, just like the uh, sodium sealer will be exhausted too. Uh, that means you use them up, uh, and then uh, you have to put the, use the sulfuric acid, uh, uh, concentrate, uh, so we guess, to react uh, and get back to your H2E set. Uh, and then get the CaSO4 back. So the CaSO4 will be your waste product in this case. Uh, now, demineralizer, uh, it's just uh, two of them, two, two softener hook up in series. One is a sodium, another one is a hydrogen C light. Sodium C light, hydrogen C light. And then in series, uh, after this, uh, it's just pure water coming out. Uh. Okay, so mm, now, they they have both of them uh, join up together uh, go through one uh, one first and then uh, go for the go for the the cation uh, it just said uh, take out the so four something and then the the uh, cation is the ca stuff uh, camg uh, and then this one is the so four cl stuff uh, go through one and then two uh, and then you pretty much have uh, pure water coming out uh. 
Now, oh, this one is is a common, very common one. Huh? It's called reverse osmosis. Huh? Now, the the word osmosis huh, is a natural process. Huh? So, if you have have some tree root, huh? the tree root can suck up some water inside the tree. Huh? It's because of the osmosis unit. So the osmosis unit huh, is the low concentration uh, water, just a uh, water in the ground, low concentration, uh, it go through the membrane, uh, which is the root, the membrane of the root. Uh, inside the membrane of the root is high concentration, uh, low concentration water on the ground, go through the membrane of the root, and it go inside the root. Uh, so that is uh, the osmosis uh, process. So that's how the uh, the tree yeah, and the, the vegetable yeah, suck up the water from the ground. Yeah, it's an osmosis unit. Okay. Now, but reverse osmosis. Yeah, so that means you know, instead of for the low concentration go into the high concentration, yeah, you want the high concentration go into the low concentration. It will not happen naturally. Yeah. So that means you have to put some pressure there, squeeze the, the high concentration, go into the the low the low concentration one. Eh? So this pretty much the, that is the reverse os osmosis unit. Eh? So you use a, a piece of semi uh, permeable membrane. Eh? The semi permeable membrane that is a, a piece of membrane. We eh? really, really, really tight, eh? we really, really small. Eh? Only the water molecule, small, any molecule is smaller than the, the water molecule can go through. Eh? Any, any molecule is bigger than the water, it cannot go through. Eh? You know, the CA eh, and the MG eh, is a whole lot bigger than the H2O. Eh? So that means no, you push it, eh, all the water eh, uh, can go through. Eh? But all those big hardness, uh, the CAMG, uh, they will stay behind. Uh. So on the other side of the membrane, uh, it's all nice and uh, pure water, 99% uh, pure water. Okay. So that is the reverse osmosis unit. Uh. Okay. okay, now let's take a look in here. So if you put a piece of semi-permeable membrane in here, membrane in here, you you this one is your water inlet uh, okay then it said what saw water it doesn't have to be salt water it just said hot water from the river or from the city uh. there's some mineral there uh, caamg in there now so on the other side uh, if you if you just put it there without any pressure uh, the water will for, go from the first one into the concentrate one. Uh, that's the osmosis unit. Uh. So if you want to reverse the process, uh, just put some pressure in here. So that means you hook, hook, hook it up, hook up the water on the left hand side uh, with a pump. Uh, pump this up, uh, 120 psi, uh, and force the water go to that way. Uh. So the piece of membrane uh, is just too, the hole is too small. Uh. Only the water molecule can go through there. All those saw eh, will stay behind. Eh? So on the right hand side, eh, it's a pure water. That's what we want. Eh? That's what we want, want for the, the boiler. Eh? Okay. Now, now uh, this is a this is a small reverse osmosis unit. Eh? So for the small osmosis unit, eh, you want you before the water go in there. You want to filter at first. Uh, those two filters go through in here, go through there. Uh, some of them, uh, those mem these one membrane, uh, they are roll all roll up. Uh, I just select a piece of paper, roll up. Now, and so that it doesn't call take up some space. Uh, if the piece of membrane, uh, you will roll it up. You piece 20, 20 feet wide, uh, and you take a big room. Uh, so instead, you roll it up, uh, roll it up into a different compartment, uh, and then you can force or. Uh, the membrane there, yeah. So the membrane in here is all low up. Eh? Now all those membrane there, it could be connect in series, yeah, one after the other one, eh? And some of the desire, eh? they will have a uh, two, uh, just a uh, uh, two of them, eh? Go para and then go into one, eh? In series, eh? So 
uh, it could be para, it could be in series. Huh? And then it, after the member, huh, it will be keen water. But most of the unit, huh, they, some of the, the keen water will go to, the, the keen water will go to your, your surface, right? And then, huh, now look at him here. This one, huh, that's what we call the concentrate. Yeah? That's a concentrate. There's a keen water. The keen water will go to the surface. Eh? The concentrate. Now, there's two ways the concentrate go. Eh? One is just go down the drain. Eh? Some 25% will go down the drain. Eh? Now, 25%, eh, they reuse it again. Eh? Introduce this. Eh? Just uh, you put the drain there. 25% will go down the drain. Another one, you put it back to the inlet or the pump. Eh? So that's the case in here. So after that, you put some back into the the inlet, uh, so you see some water uh, uh, this way, uh, okay. Okay, now, uh, now the deaerator, uh, uh, we will cover the deaerator in the feed water section, uh, unit 12, chapter 4, uh, which is next week. Uh. Now, so the deaerator, they use an uh, and also trade low pressure steam to remove the oxygen. Uh. Now let's say, do we have uh, a picture on this? No, we don't have a, a deaerator picture in here. Uh, I think, why at the beginning we have a, uh, some sort of, of deaerator? Uh. No. So that is the, this look, that is the deaerator uh, de look like. Uh. A horizontal tank with a doom. Uh. Okay, now on the doom there, when the water come in, uh, they have some nozzle uh, in, up there. They have nozzles spraying around everywhere so that the, the more contact uh, with the, the steam. Uh, and then some of them even put trays in here. Uh, put some trays in here. It's just a, it's an ob obstacle uh, path. Uh, so the water go in there, have to go six, 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 six before it go down the, to the bottom part. Uh. And then the, the next thing, uh, you put some steam in there at the bottom. Uh. You introduce some steam in this area. So the steam will heat up the water uh, and will break up the water and the air. So the air will go to the top. Uh. So that is uh, uh, the deaerator. Uh. So now we, we're going to do, look at the deaerator. Uh, next chapter but just, just next week eh? okay so this will conclude the chapter one is uh, I spend lots of time in there but uh, it's worth it I think that's important stuff eh? okay and uh, the next one will be on the internal treatment eh?